Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this review is about Mahindra University which is based out of Hyderabad and I am going to talk about all the engineering program related details but before that this is university so they do offer good number of courses including engineering, uh, management, law school, education, life sciences, media and hotel management courses as well. So this is uh, the main building of the engineering department and uh, its college is called Ecole Central School of Engineering. So it's a collaboration and these are some of the pictures of the other faculties or the schools which are there part of the you know Mahindra University. So those are some of the details and uh, this is specifically the school of design part of Mahindra University and this is school of hospitality management. So I'll only talk about the Ecole Central School of Engineering which is their engineering college and the programs which are offered part of these programs which is uh, for towards the BTEC program with specialization like you know AI artificial intelligence then they have biotechnology computation biology CSC branch is available CE which is civil engineering uh, computation and mathematics this is a new branch and quite good demand electronics and computer management which is ECM branch and mechanical engineering at uh, the core branch mechatronics which is mechanical plus electronics combination branch then you have nanotechnology, ECE which is electronics and communication engineering, computation and media branch, aerospace engineering and then electrical and computer right which is again the cross branch and the newer one which is VLSI design and technology. So those many number of options are available. The number of seats are not very high but I will explain that in the later part of the video. Now they also offer the MTech programs apart from the engineering. So if you see from the MTech also computer science engineering and Autonomous electric vehicles for students from electrical mechanical departments, computed aided structural engineering, AIDS branch, artificial intelligence and data science, smart grid and energy storage technologies, and computational mechanics, biomedical, robotics. Then you have a VLSI design and embedded system, and then a last one you can see transportation engineering also available in MTech. Then they also offer few of the PhD programs which is after your MTech completion and uh, you can check later details. Now talking about the different clubs, so they have Wogans which is their fashion club, Roboverse which is their robotics club which is available. Then for art uh, loving students they have art felt club and for Eros students they have their Eros club. Kalakriti is basically uh, in a wide range of events that promote and celebrate the heritage of Indian culture right. They do have the Enigma club which is rated with computer science club right and master shot as you understand by the name is a is a you know cinematography or the film club and they have Indian geotechnical society right who want to explore the geotechnical engineering some more like hurricane which is their programming club Sinlo which is part of their musical club bringing different musical artists and then they have state of art laboratories facilities and these are some of the pictures of the typical classrooms, auditoriums, library pictures, right? So part of the equals engineering. And this is one of their cafeteria and food court. So quite decent amount of modern infrastructure you can find in all the aspects, right? So this is again part of the food court facility. And this is also the gym facility which is available for the students. So part of the hostel and the dining facilities. These are some of the pictures. So this is one of the pictures from their girls hostel which is available on the campus and this is room on the double sharing basis so these were pictures Jim already has spoken earlier available for girls also now for the admission right there are multiple modes of admission so one is you can get admission through qualifying into J mains exam right and then you will be eligible to write J advance then you can get if you are not passing J mains and not getting eligible for advance then you are not uh, uh, there so you know the criteria right 92 percent and uh, so percentile at least you should get to apply here based on the uh, exact cutoff will be varying from year to year but to be eligible for GE advance your GE means person should be very high. Second way is like scholastic aptitude you should have valid score minimum 800 and then you can also get through ACT score exam minimum composite score of 18. So those are the three four ways where you can get the admission to different courses in engineering side. Now important dates right so last day to apply for the second round of SAT students was 5th of February and first round of interaction was their 5th of 10th but the last date to apply for all other modes including J mains mode is 9th July so you can basically wait for the results and up to 9th July you can apply up to 9th July 2025 so a lot of time are available 
Now, first talking about the fee structure before going for the placements part. So, if you see academic fees for this is 5 lakh rupees per annum. So, it's not a comparatively affordable college. Only uh, you know, people who can pay 5 lakh rupees per year, they can go. And the similar example is Manipal University uh, in Karnataka, right? So, that there also fees is 5 lakhs per annum. Now, apart from fees of 5 lakhs per year, you have to give hostel fees of 2 lakh 10,000 per year. So, total will be like minimum 7 lakh 10,000 including hostel and fees. And then additional 20,000 rupees which is caution deposit which is refundable. Now talking about the placement, the type of companies, there are not much uh, mass equipment companies but these are some IT services company which visit the campus, Cognizant, Cap Capgemini which are there from the services, Infor which is product, Hitachi is from consulting side and from the core side you have Volta, Cent Globe and Starlight and many other companies right and the First, if you talk about the various sectors in which student gets job, it is mix of all the uh, you know stria, uh, verticals, right? So most of the students get placed in IT, IT enabled services because it is in Hyderabad, which is above IT zone. Then good number of companies, 35% companies also taking students from the core areas, mechanical, electronics, and electrical, and so, on. and 8% in consulting, 6% uh, in uh, finance, and approximately 8% in education. So that is a big. Now we'll start with the two years placement trend. Right? First, we'll see the placement rate for 2023. So 2023, if you see total 48 companies uh, visited the campus, right? For engineering. So if you see total number of companies, it is quite lower compared to other colleges where large number of companies visit like 200 to 300 companies, but here only 48 companies visited. Highest salary for 2023 batch was not that big, 38 lakhs package. And average package is 8.6 lakh. So this information is available on their main website. And out of 48 companies, 41 companies offers were more than 6 lakhs. Rest of the 7 companies were offering less than 6 lakhs. So mostly students get offer more than 6 lakhs. Now you also want to know which is the company which gives the highest package. So the company was called Equinix, which is a good company. They offered 38 lakhs package to 3 students. So all the 3 students were from computer science engineering department. And if you see in the next batch, which is uh, 2024 batch, the highest package was 36 lakhs. And one student from CSC got 36 lakhs. So you see, highest packages of this college is not very big. It's only 38 lakhs or 36 lakhs, which is quite low. And then 23 lakhs package was there for one student in the same batch of 2024. Now let's also talk about the NRF placement detail for the number of students who got placed uh, in over the years, right? So if you see in 2022 batch, right, 200 students were there out of passing and out of 200, only 69 students got placed, which is not a good placement and median salary was 8 lakhs. So there is no importance of median salary if the number of students placed is very small, which is just 69. Next year also out of 261 students, uh, 82 got placed. So placement is not even 25%, median salary increased to 9 lakhs. Again, not much importance of median salary because number of students is base is not big. And in 2024, which is the latest information, 640 students were eligible for placement. And out of 640, 301 only students got those. That's all 300, that is, which is not even 50% placement. And you can see the last column, which says number of students selected for higher studies is 332. That means most of the students are going for higher studies. So this placement is very not good. 300 only one students only place. Median salary is 10 lakhs. So overall, median salary is high because number of students getting placed is quite low. And only CSE related students are getting placed uh, as it seems like. Right? So that's all the review of this college. Thanks for watching and please subscribe channel to get similar updates for other colleges in India. Take care and bye.